What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. This is Steven in Stereo and in today's video we are going to be showing some love to an artist that I haven't checked out much of which is Ed Sheeran. So in today's video we're actually checking out Supermarket Flowers. I want to give a huge shout out to Sarah over on Patreon for actually requesting this video. Thank you so much. I saw a brief amount of the lyrics when I was setting this video up and uh, all I know is that lyrically this is a very sad song. Um, so I am pretty excited to dive into that. I want to see what Ed does with this because he has some really amazing vocals and he's also an incredible musician. Um, and we've seen that through some of the things we've checked out. And also I, I listened on my own time. I listened to his collaboration album that he did, which was honestly pretty fucking cool, especially the collaborations that he did with some of the artists that I really enjoyed. And it was really cool to see the versatility that he has as an artist. So I'm excited to check this song out, despite the fact that I know that it's probably gonna be a little bit sad. So we're gonna throw some headphones on and enjoy some Ed Sheeran. I took the supermarket flowers from the windowsill Threw the day old tea from the cup Packed up the photo album Matthew had made Memories of a life that's been loved Took the Garrett Wilson cars and stuffed animals Pulled the old ginger beer down the sink Dad always told me don't you cry when you're down But mom there's a tear every time that I blink so just based on this first section here, there's a ton of emotion in this track. Now, I don't know if this is written, um, I don't know if Ed Sheeran personally wrote this track about something going on in his life. I do feel like when I'm listening to these lyrics, it immediately feels very real um, to him, which is the loss of his mother. And it sounds like it's those, it's that post moment where all of this kind of happened and you know, it's kind of like settling down um, and you're starting to like, like he was doing. He was, you know, cleaning up the get well soon balloons, flowers, cars, things like that. Kind of like trying to put things back to normal. And it's this inner monologue that he's having with himself because it's a very difficult situation to go through. And if you've ever lost someone close, I know my family just recently went through this as well. Um, it's just such a weird thing trying to move forward and trying to, you know, establish normalcy again and i feel like just in that first verse we're already getting um ed setting the stage for that oh i'm in pieces it's tearing me up but i know a heart that's broke is a heart that's been loved so i'll sing hallelujah you were an angel in the shape of my mom oh. When I fell down, you'd be there holding me up Spread your wings as you go And when God takes you back, he'll say hallelujah, you're home This is also a range from Ed that I'm not too familiar with Just because I'm more, um, I'm more familiar with his more upbeat and pop hits um, This is probably one of those deep cuts that I think like cuts really deep especially when you hear his lyrics or his vocals here we're again we're getting a little bit more of a slower tempo here in a moment for the mood to really happen and hearing ed in these moments is as sad as it is it's also really incredible to hear again that versatility as an artist i fluffed the pillows made the bed stacked the chairs up Folded your nightgowns neatly in a case John said he'd drive then put his hand on my cheek And wiped a tear from the side of my face Fuck And I hope that I see the world as you did Cause I know a life we love is a life that's been lived So I'll sing hallelujah Oh my god. The harmonies come in in this section and like it's just heartbreaking but in the best way. It's been lived so I'll sing hallelujah. Woo! You were an angel in the shape of my mom. When I fell down you'd be there holding me up. Spread your wings as you go and when God takes you back. 
back and say hallelujah you're home oh. atmosphere in this section is so incredible and hearing um ed doing these runs again while you're having that emotional connection to this track and these lyrics i feel like breaks like this are always so beautiful because though we are obviously very sad in this moment there seems to be a glimmer of hope and a and a moment of seeing a light at the end of this where rather than looking at just the loss you're looking at the major impact and how your life will continue moving forward with this happening to you hallelujah you are an angel in the shape of my mom you got to see the person I have become Spread your wings and I know that when God took you back He said, hallelujah, you're home Oh my God, I feel like there is no like easy way to write that song And I feel like whenever you really put yourself in the in the shoes of your favorite artists when they write these songs that are not only very personal but again very therapeutic and i talk about this on my channel all the time where music is such an outlet for so many artists um and to have the ability to pen a song that is not only this soul crushing just because it's so sad but also has so much beauty and hope in it i know that there are so many people out there that can instantly connect to, to this track and can like plug themselves into the song to make them feel like they're not alone and i think that's where music really shines is that it gives you this escape from sort of what you're dealing with and it helps you come to terms with those things so when we're listening to ed talk about what i'm only assuming based on the lyrics is the loss of his mother it's not so much just the pain of losing someone close to you. Ed is doing this sort of world building where, especially in that first section, I felt like I was sitting there with him in his living room as he's taking things down and trying to, you know, make the house normal again or make, you know, this space normal again after what just happened. And even in that second verse, when he's talking about you know, making his mom's room again and making her bed and putting her clothes away. These are the things that you don't really think about when you think about the loss of someone or if someone close to you loses someone close to them. You don't think about, it's not just that that person is gone, but now there's all these moments after where you're having to relive their memory. Um, and you, it hits. And I feel like people don't really know that until they've experienced it. And the craziest thing is that because the storytelling aspect of these lyrics are so beautiful, I felt like I was sitting there. Like I felt like I was watching Ed go through all of these things. And though I've never lost someone that close, um, again, my family has definitely um, been dealing with this lately, just you know, more like by proxy when it comes to just how close these relatives are. But obviously with Ed losing his mother, that is, that's about as close as it gets. And it's just, it's just such a beautiful moment to hear him in this very open sense, in this very emotional sense. He's being very vulnerable here and letting us into his life. And I always respect artists to, that do that. I didn't really know that Ed Sheeran had this side to him. I'm kind of very familiar with his pop hits. So when I get to hear a deep cut like this, it hits on a whole different level because not only do I get to see more of that versatility like I've talked about before, but I also get to see that He's got that very vulnerable side to him and there's more to his music than just the hits and it gets me really excited to check out more of ed sheeran's music i know a lot of people ask me to check out his stuff all the time and rightfully so i hear a track like this 
on top of some of the pop pits I've heard and his catalog is very diverse. So I would love to check out more. So I want to give a huge shout out to Sarah on Patreon for actually sharing this video with me and supporting me. Thank you so much. Again, really awesome to get to see artists that I sort of know of to get to see different sides of them that I hadn't experienced before. And this is one of those. So let me know in the comment section if you guys love this track and what your favorite song from Ed Sheeran is. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.